Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be trying a new Mountain Dew flavor. Well, it's not really new, it's returning, but it is new for our channel and it is new to us. So let's check it out and see how good it really is. He's Zach. And he's Zach. And, and he together, together we're, we're Zach, Zach and Dad. And Dad. Well, welcome. Happy New Year. Welcome to 2023. We hope that you had a great 2022. Even if you didn't, it is time to restart. We hope you're having a great beginning of your new year. Uh, we are sorry. We have missed you. We've been gone for probably about a month, but with holidays and some personal things going on in our lives, we've just been really busy um, and working through some things. But you know what? It is great to be back uh, here at the beginning of the new year. And uh, thanks for being with us today. We are Zach and Dad, as we said before. We are the place for food reviews, food challenges, and today, good old Mountain Dew kind of fun. So if you enjoy what you see here, which we please hope you do, help us out with a few things. Please like, subscribe, and click on that bell and make sure you hit the pull down menu and hit all so you never miss one of our incredible, awesome challenges or reviews or just plain fun. So how are you doing this year so good. far? Good. Excellent. So what are we doing today? We're going to be trying Mountain Dew Pitch Black. Yes. Do you remember when it came out before? No. Um, let us know. When did it come out before? I, I've i heard that I think it was like 2018. Uh, and that's when our channel first started. So we weren't even reviewing, I think, sodas at that time. It was mostly hot stuff and, and uh, sour stuff. Um, so, um, no, this is Pitch Black. I guess it's uh, back uh, and better than ever. Um, we're going to try the regular one first. And then it does come, uh, for those of you who are sugar conscious, uh, we, it comes out in, in zero. Uh, it says, with a blast of dark citrus punch flavor with other natural flavors. Okay. All right. Chip it. Dip it. Dip it. Well, let's, I'm going to smell it first. It does smell grape, because that's what I'm kind of was thinking this was. It does smell kind of grape-ish. Um, The artwork uh, never disappoints. Uh, we'll put a picture up of it, um, but the, the artwork really never disappoints. They do a great job, don't you think? Yep. Mountain Dew does a great job in their marketing and how they push their products. Seems like they come up with a Dew every single week, uh, but this is the first one of the year. So, um, and I'm not sure why it's back, if it was a fan favorite or not, who knows? So what do you think? What flavor are you getting? I'm getting grape. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking too. And to tell you the truth, grape is one of my favorite flavors when it comes to soda. I re Do you like a grape flavor? I don't think I've had like a grape. Yeah, you probably haven't. You've had mostly orange when it comes to kind of different flavors. You like the orange flavors. Did Mountain Dew ever come up with an orange flavor? Yeah, it did. Was that Livewire or something like that? I think, or what is the orange flavor of Mountain Dew? Give us a help on that. So give us your first thoughts here, Zach, on what you feel, or how, what do you think about it? It's just pretty much Mountain Dew grape soda. Yeah, I actually like it. This is going to rank up kind of on top of one of the, one of my favorites when it, excuse me, one of my favorites when it comes to their special sodas. Yeah. Here, let's rank it here in a second. Three, two, Wait, one, seven. Eight. eight. I really liked it. I thought it was really good. I'd get yourselves out there and for you to try it. Give it a try. See what you think. All right, why don't we give the, uh, for those of you who don't like uh, all that sugar or can't have all that sugar uh, with health issues or whatever, they do have a zero sugar version out there. So why don't we give that a try? Basically, it looks the same. Why don't you open it up and, and let's try it. Let's see if it, it's worthy of a zero version. Um, again, the, the look um, the look on it is, you can't tell because it looks black here, pitch, hence pitch black. But it is kind of a, in the right lighting. I don't know if you can tell it on here, but with the right lighting, it, it is. It looks dark purple. It really does have that deep grape kind of look to it. All right, are we ready for this one? Chip, Chip it. it, dip it. The zero version. Well, we already made some little spillages on here. I need to diet. That's what I usually always drink. So to me, this is a little. It is all right. Mm, yeah, it, 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 there, it's something, and I don't know what it is, but it's something with the regular versions that it feels like the taste is more pronounced. Where with the diet, yes, I can still tell the taste, but it seems so much more subdued. Is that what you get? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Let me finish this. 
and then we can give it a good old flavor rating. If you had to choose between the sugar-free and the sugar one, which one would you go for? A regular diet. The regular. Yeah, even though I... This isn't diet, it's zero sugar. Or zero sugar. What is the difference between diet and zero sugar? Can uh, you help us out there? What is that? Why are they... Different logo? Yeah, maybe. I'm joking. Uh, what, what is the difference between diet and sugar-free? Or zero sugar? Is there a difference? Is it, the sh is it the sweetener that they used? I'm not quite sure. But again, it really, can you, I can really tell that purplish color. I can't, I don't know if it, it translates well in the camera. Again, good to be back, and uh, hopefully you guys are having a great new year. Let us know, what did you guys do for New Year's Eve? Did you party yet? Did you stay up to midnight? Did you go to bed? Did you not even realize it was the new year? Are you still in 2022? Let us know what's going on in your world. What did we do New Year's Eve? Oh, oh yeah, we were at our grand, or we were at your grandma and grandpa's on on your mom's side, and we rang in the new year, and we went to bed. Um, now behind you, Zach. Before we give it a flavor rating, if you want to just move for a second, uh, this is uh, again, if you're new to the channel, this is called our shelves of fame. This encompasses many items that we've reviewed in the years past. Uh, not all of them. There's a lot more that we've done, uh, but these are what we've reviewed in the past, and different shelves represent different things. This whole top shelf right before, right, actually the two shelves right behind Zach represent, we have done a lot of Mountain Dew things. And we'll put up a playlist also of Mountain Dew that we've done in the past. We love our Mountain Dew from the United States and all over the country. Um, and so take it a look and see what you think. Um, now before we give this one a flavor rating, where do you, where would you rank Pitch Black with all the Dews that you've had so far? Um, sort of in the medium. Medium? Okay, what would be a top one for you? I don't even remember. Was that Do USA or Liberty Brew? I have no idea. I think it was Liberty Brew. I think you really love the Liberty Brew. For me, the top uh, easily is Thrashed Apple. Thrashed Apple top, love it. You're right. This would still, but for me, this would be top. This would be one of those top ones. Um, and then middle would be some of the Bajas. At the bottom, maybe the Flaming Hot one. That kind of bombed for me. Or, or the Gingerbread one from Christmas last year. Yeah. But anyway, let us know what you rank. Oh, anyway, okay, let's give this a flavor rating. Uh, let's give the diet version or the sugar-free version uh, a ranking all of its own, and we'll let you guys then decide what you think. All right? Three, two, one, Five. seven. Oh, so you're really going low. Mm -hmm. So it wasn't as good. Okay. Well, anyway, hey, we have some questions, and then we want to end our show today with what we felt were the top ten videos of Zach and Dad's for 20... 22. I got to get used to saying the old version now. All right. So first of all, give us a thumbs up if you're a Dew fan. And uh, give us a thumbs up if you've tried this before, whether it's this year or way back in 2018, I think when it came out. Or would you try this? Are you a great fan? Would you go for it? Um, give us, and what is your go-to do? I think for Zach, you were saying what? Liberty Brew, I think. Um, for me, Thrashed Apple. But what is your do? We would love to know that. Our, and Zach, are you on team, uh, team Do, Pepsi, or Coke? Pepsi. Yes, he's a huge Pepsi fan. Um, I probably would either be on Do or Coke. I kind of like them the same. So um, they both have their really good qualities. But Pepsi to me, hmm, kind of subpar to me. Anyway, here is Zach. Uh, here's the top 10 videos that we thought uh, we enjoyed. We did a many, many videos in 2022. So it was really hard to to kind of capture what we wanted to do. But um, 10, uh, 10, this is kind of going in order, so number 10 would be our 2022 cruise videos. Do you remember those? No. No. Uh, where we did uh, food from Jamaica, snacks from Jamaica, uh, uh, snacks from Haiti. Uh, we did some hot sauces, uh, both countries as well. Um, what we'll do is we'll put up cards for as many of these as we can, so you can kind of hop along and see what you think as well. Um, number nine, do you remember how much fun we had with this one? The Hawaiian Punch Ice Bucket Challenge? Remember we were outside? Oh, yeah. yeah, we were outside, and and uh, you dumped it on me, and then I ran away, and then what did you say? Get back here! I don't, I don't remember. <laughs> oh, okay. I think you said something like, get back here! This is for the wounded soldiers! Um, anyway, that was really funny. Um, number eight, that was a good one. Number eight, we ranked, um, and that's right behind your head, Zach. 
we ranked Jeff's famous beef jerky. Remember how, remember how good those were? Those were really moist, really good. Jeff comes out with some great jerky there. Uh, number seven would be our challenges. Uh, our challenges uh, from noodles that we've done, you can see that up there. Uh, hot sauces, we did some really hot beef jerky uh, as well. And so we enjoyed our challenges, um, even our recent ones of, um, and maybe that's a different one. Uh, but I was gonna say of our chicken, yeah, no, of our chicken wings uh, challenges that we've done recently. Uh, we really enjoy all those. And then number six, do you remember when we ranked uh, all the Little Debbie's ice creams? Oh, uh, yeah, I do. Yes, were those fun? Uh -huh. Yeah, that was good. We were ranked all the Little Debbie's uh, that they had over at Walmart. I think those were Walmart exclusives. So those are really good. Number five, uh, do you remember uh, we did this as a collaboration with Big John? Remember we did the Diablo sandwich from Arby's? It was that really hot sandwich from Arby's? Yeah, I do. Yeah, that was pretty good. Um, and again, the reason why I picked it too is because our best videos, I really feel, are when we uh, combine uh, and do a collab with another channel because you can't help but uh, be better together. So, and then number four is, do you remember when we actually did a live collab with our good friends at Who's Your Daddy? When he actually came here, remember that was way oh. back at the beginning. Actually, it was about a year ago. Uh, he came over here. He sat right in the middle between us, and we reviewed, uh, I think, our favorite things at Culver's. That was really fun. And I think on his channel, um, which we'll put a card up, I think we did a combined one where we did cousin subs. Mm, okay. Better bread, better subs. Those are our favorite subs. Anyway, we love Who's Your Daddy. We love Big John. Um, but it's great when they can come and visit and we can do it live. Number three was, do you remember when we did Taco Bell's chicken wings? I think that was a while ago too, but remember how good they were? I don't really remember that. Yeah. Um, yeah, that after your injury, you really forgot a lot of things. I'm kidding. But anyway, Taco Bell came out with chicken wings. I heard they're coming back out again with them. I'm going to snatch those up. They're really, really good. I would love to see them being permanent. And number two. Now, number two and number one, Zach, are ranked because of just pure views. Uh, whether we liked it or not is not the question. It's just what you thought were the good ones. So number two. So number two and one, it's you. You're the one who gave us number two and number one. Number two with over 900 views was our mac and cheese. Actually, this wasn't my favorite video, but you thought it was pretty good. Was our mac and cheese. Remember the boosts that you would put in, the powder that you would put in the mac and cheeses for it to taste a different flavor? A little bit. Yeah, you would actually, I don't think you were a big fan of them. Um, they were okay. They boosted the flavor a little bit. Again, they probably weren't my favorite video, but you guys pretty much liked it. And our number one video for 2022 that got over a thousand, or actually it's very close to a thousand views, was the one I did by myself. So Zach, you wouldn't remember this, and I'm shocked that it's this high. But when I tried the Dairy Queen Poolside Punch Twist Misty, it was really good. I don't know why I got so many views, but you apparently liked it, and that's great. So, anyway, we really love our subs, don't we? Yep. Thanks for being with us on the road of 2022. We really do appreciate it, and we hope you can hop along uh, with us in 2023. Uh, there's going to be some different stuff uh, going on this year, which... Um, uh, maybe some different kind of reviews that we've done in years past, and I'll probably come out with a separate video to explain a little bit uh, of the future uh, of our channel and, and my son and I together. And But that will come in its due time. So, But don't worry about that right now. Let's just worry about what, what's going on right now. So thank you for being with us today. We really do appreciate it. Uh, please, um, if, our, if we have some people out there, actually, Zach, that are like, I love what you guys did in 22. I want to be a part of 2023. How can I do that? You guys want to like, comment, subscribe. Yeah, so please like us on the Facebooks. We really do appreciate that. We do know there's a thousand other channels out there, great food review channels, even great father, son, great family food review channels. But thank you for spending a little bit of your YouTube experience with a father and son that love to do what we love to do so that you can be entertained, you can enjoy it, and you can make better decisions with the budget dollars you have in this time of inflation. So we, we do really thank you for being with us today. And as we always and we'll see you on the flip floor. Take care, God bless, and we'll see you next video. Happy New Year 2023. God bless you guys. Take care.